What's up everybody? Welcome to the FOMO Factory. Happy Monday. Today we're going to take a look at the crypto market. I am happy. I don't know why because I'm sick. It doesn't make sense. But like the video, support the channel and let's get right into it. Now, first of all, Bitcoin. You know what Bitcoin did? Nothing. Yeah, absolutely freaking nothing. Bitcoin is going sideways for a couple of weeks already. Um, so yeah, basically Bitcoin was sitting at around the same level in April. And of course it went a little higher, it went a little lower, that's all in the meantime, but now we are just back at that level. This is so far a very boring uh, year, like the first part of the year was very exciting where Bitcoin went from 16k um, to like 30k but since april give or take it's just not doing anything and it's kind of suspicious to me i don't trust no bitcoins um it's it's <laughs> i don't know when things go sideways for too long uh, what i was thinking about i was laying in bed uh, last night and I, I don't really have a life so i i only think about this shit. so i was thinking like if the crypto market is going sideways for so long, I can understand that people feel the urge to make stupid decisions. Like if they have a big bag of altcoins, maybe they feel like, oh, let me sell all. Or if they don't have anything, oh, I'm a buy all. Because you want to have something going on. And if the market doesn't provide that to you, then maybe you provide that to the market. Now, um, yeah, so therefore my, my conclusion is that soon there might be a big move that, yeah, flushes a lot of people out. Is it going to flush out the bears? Is it going to flush out the bulls? Well, if we take a look at uh, Bitcoin and therefore later on uh, at altcoins as well, what, 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 I, yeah, what I see with Bitcoin is, um, well, we broke this diagonal line that we have been in for the complete year. Right, we were in this uptrend. First touch, yeah, well, I've drawn it myself. So, but second touch, third touch. So, this is obviously a trend now. However, we broke to the downside, and um, yeah, that gives Bitcoin an extra point of weakness. The stochastic RSI, we were pointing upwards, but we didn't even make it to the top. Um, and now we are retracing a little bit. The stochastic RSI didn't even went down that much, but Bitcoin in the meantime already went down from like 32K to yeah, where we are right now, uh, 29 and a half. And I feel like, man, there could be a real reset uh, soon, in my opinion. If we look at Bitcoin on the monthly, What's quite interesting is that the monthly stochastic RSI is now getting in the overbought territory, which is bullish. You might think like, well, it's overbought, right? So uh, shouldn't we sell in that case? Not really, because always when Bitcoin is, uh, well, not always, but if you, for example, take a look at this cycle right here, right? Bitcoin was going up on the stochastic RSI, but only when the stochastic RSI was overbought, that's where the run really started. If we look at last cycle, that's a little different. There we were also overbought, but that was the top of the pre-having year where we exactly are right now. And what happened in the meantime, stochastic RSI reset a little, li reset, a little reset it a little bit. In the meantime, Bitcoin made, well, almost a double bottom and then only the run started. So I am pretty curious to see like, okay, are we going to see this again? Are we going to see this again? In my humble opinion, we're going to see this again. Why? Um, well, for many reasons that I said before, but also if we look at the stochastic RSI, we, we still haven't had that, you know, that second flush out, right? We always have that. Um, and in my opinion, that's very likely that will still happen. Ethereum on its Bitcoin pair is still showing pretty big weakness um well pretty big it's like not that it's going down hard but it's going down for a long time already since september last year so we can almost say a year um that ethereum is losing from bitcoin now of course every altcoin or not every altcoin except it's there but altcoins in general are losing from bitcoin as you can see right here right pretty hard ethereum is not losing that hard but it is losing right so if you look at this from the from the top until where we are right now, Ethereum is down 26% against Bitcoin. If you look on uh, at the total 
altcoin market. So all the altcoins combined. So just the complete average, basically. You see that altcoins are down 44% against Bitcoin. Yeah. In my opinion, it's still, again, likely that we will see this level here. Um, the question is, will we get down there while Bitcoin is going up, down or sideways? That's what really... Um, it's going to define if altcoins on the dollar pair are going up sideways or down as well. Because altcoins are now holding up like eh, against the dollar pair, right? But it's only because Bitcoin is up, right? Because altcoins on their Bitcoin pair are now heavily down. So if Bitcoin ever goes down uh, again around $25,000 or even lower, yeah, that's where we see altcoins getting wrecked. Um, and then the question is like, yeah, is that going to happen? Is Bitcoin going to go down? Yeah, over the macro, I think that Bitcoin will be, of course, uh, worth way more than what it is today. Um, but it doesn't mean that in the meantime, we can't have a correction before we go up like we had over here and uh, over here, right? So, yeah, I'm still a little skeptical about altcoins. Um, if we take a look at the total three, also still quite hanging there around $340 billion market cap. Um, overall, also, this trend is still down, right? So lower highs, still lower highs. So not looking that bullish. Um, it doesn't mean that you ah how should i say this without fucking confusing everybody i've been saying a long time be careful with altcoins it's not the best time to buy altcoins when is the best time to buy altcoins nobody knows because you cannot time the bottom i think it might be time to look at um getting small let me express this small positions all right small that's not good for my throat. It's like uh, infected already. <clears throat> but um, yeah, no, I mean, I think that altcoins are going down and I'm pretty sure by like, let's say 90%. Um, so with my other 10%, I would like to say maybe dollar cost a bit, right? Like maybe 10% of, uh, of, of, of your cash portfolio, uh, but only in altcoins that are not too speculative, right? If you, uh, for example, I like gaming uh, projects a lot, right? So I, for example, can say, okay, I'm going to buy Illuvium, right? It just had a little pump. On the other hand, uh, if, if you look at Illuvium on its Bitcoin pair, yeah, it's like, okay, but we had uh, such a pump here. We had a 100% pump compared to the, uh, you know, 38% pump that we have right now. And we still went way lower. And all these pumps make people FOMO into crypto uh, at all times, right? While it's actually not even the best time to do that yet. So... Um, therefore, these s single and speculative things, I will be a little careful when it comes to that. But if I look, for example, uh, a Gala, uh, Engine Starter, a uh, Magic, Falcon Forge, a C Defy, uh, Ultra, Frasty, these kind of, you know, uh, distribution things, platforms uh, like studios, all those kind of things, which is more than just a game. That, that's something that I am actually interested in uh, to buy. So let's get over some comments that I got on the channel because I want to make very clear, I still, again, think that altcoins can go down very, very, very hard. All right, um, but yeah. Um, what's your opinion about BSC pads, G-Zone and Polka Starter in face of Engine Starter and Cedify, which is the best? Cedify, Engine Starter, Pools Finance and Dowmaker are uh, top tier. Um, I'm not so familiar with G-Zone, BSC pads and Polka Starter anymore. All I know is that you know what you can do. You can go to CryptoRank.io and you can here look at ICL IDO and lunch pads. So you can see, for example, Polk started. It's ranked number two. Why it's still ranked number two? I have no freaking idea. Because if you look when the last um, uh, release was, was August 2022. Polk started is not doing shit anymore. Um, you can also go to uh, IDO platform ROI. And you, for example, take one year, right? Which lunch pads have the best returns over the last year? Cedify, Trust Swap, Downmaker, Engine Starter, Gen Pools Finance. Right, Genpad, not really there. Trust, 
pair swap also not because they didn't release a lot of IDOs. Cedify, Downmaker, Engine Starter, Pools Finance, constantly doing IDOs and they have good returns. So that's the one that I would take a look at. And yeah, if you want to take a look at, for example, um, BSC Pad, yeah, overall, uh, the two IDOs that they did are down. So they are not really doing well. That's how I look at uh, this kind of thing. So yeah. Um, Xen, supply is not infinite. Okay, maybe not anymore. I don't know. Back in the day when I looked at it, uh, it looked like it had an infinite supply. Um, but yeah, Xen, like I, I am not really a fan of uh, Xen myself. Why not? Yeah, just because, well, <laughs> there's nothing really to be bullish on uh, when it comes to Xen. I have bought a small bag of Moonbeam at around 20 cents. It's a solid team and despite the chart looking horrendous, it doesn't seem that bad of a play. Um, yeah, maybe it's not, but look, what I also look at is not only the chart, but, uh, also like how much, you know, fees do they, uh, generate? And if I look at, um, uh, I don't even know where it is, man. Fees, moon beam. Oh my God. I don't even know where it is on this page. Moonbeam, it doesn't gen oh here. So if you look at the fees, there are no fees, right? So they don't generate anything. There are no really no projects being built on Moonbeam. Um, because if if you look at the fees, you know, on the daily, $70, $130, $80, they have these spikes, right? Um, but overall they make a couple of hundred dollars fees, right? How are they going to pay the team by these fees? They will have to sell team tokens, right? If they still have them though. Um, yeah, and also if I just look at uh, Moonbeam as a uh, chain, then I um, feel like, yeah, not completely sure um, what's there, right? If you, if you look at the total value locked, 14 million, right? They have Moonwell and Stellar Swap. For the rest, there are no like, projects seriously being built on there so these are the things that are most important in my opinion and i don't see it uh, succeed if it goes on like this um solidus said that their initial market cap will be 148k that's crazy yeah um that's quite insane man if if uh, that that's not including liquidity so i think it's more around 500k or something like that i will check it out um but solid is gonna be a banger man it's uh really freaking crazy um oh yeah also someone said uh, about solid it looks like rubbish crap uh cash grab to me um if you if you ever have something uh like yeah it doesn't seem good let me know why, because I don't know like where, what your opinion is based on, uh, really. Um, but I, yeah, this looks like one of the best looking projects out there, so therefore I don't really get it. Uh, uh, but yeah, can you make a full video tutorial for dummies uh, on how to invest in Launchpad projects for like example, c and such? Yes, I'll do that, definitely, uh, I'll do that. Um, yeah, someone said like, I love to invest uh, in these, in these pre-sales, but living in the US can't, right? Therefore we created, what do you mean? So go check out, there's a link down below because what we do is we collectively invest in pre-sales through these launch pads and you only have to buy and stake the what do you mean token to get a share of these profits. So everybody that's unable because they live in a country that's restricted can still that way indirectly participate into these IDOs. We hacked crypto. So freaking cool. Uh, I want to invest in what do you mean to participate in Solidus? Can I get a quick explanation on how to? I have a lot of videos, man. Uh, search for uh, what do you mean token uh, on YouTube. You will find it, uh, definitely. Someone is spamming me with Anchor. Okay, man, bro, let's take a look at Anchor. I'm not going to talk about the project itself, but the price chart, because I don't know about the project. So I cannot pretend that I uh, know anything about it. Um, tokenomics look good. Um, a lot of trading volume. It's pretty high cap though, so it's not your 100x coin, of course, but, uh, you know, doesn't mean that there's no upside. Anchor has been uh, finding a bottom since beginning this year, so it's one of the stronger coins uh, that didn't make new lows. Anchor might be a good stable play, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I can lie, uh, but I don't.
<laughs> I don't know, man. No, it's good. Um, yeah, bro, talk about the lease. He, um, you recorded Hype Time and now uh, you don't talk shit about the project. Yeah, like I said, if I said it before, but you know, they have to update. They are working on the background and I can make videos right now, but then I basically uh, have to repeat like what I always, uh, what I already did. I don't really like that. Um, but as soon as there are nice updates, I will still talk about it because I still think that Delysium is a freaking gem in, in my opinion, uh, for sure. Um, crypto gaming. They should bring crypto to good games instead of shit games to crypto. Okay, yeah, good point. Um, example, Counter-Strike Ghost Skins work, uh, works already. Example 2, Mana. It's an actual shit game. I checked it out. Nobody plays. Yeah, yeah but Mana is not a good example, right? Like, that's also, like, that, that, that's crap. Indeed, I totally agree on that. Um, but you have to realize crypto gaming was uh, a hype a couple of years ago. Right, that's when it all started. Yeah, but it takes more than a year or whatever to make a good game, right? So let's say it takes four years. Well, in that case, we can see good games rolling out in the next crypto bull market, uh, but not really, you know, before that. I don't see that happen. But there are good games. Look at uh, Star Atlas. Look at Elysium. Look, there are a lot of good games out there. Uh, but yeah, Mana is definitely not an example of one of these good games. <laughs> no, it looks like shit, but it's a metaverse, right? Um, oh yeah, someone said you are like Capo. Don't compare me to that clown, bro. Come on, I'm not Capo. Uh, he waited, oh, he also waited for Bitcoin to go to 8 at 10k when it cost 16. Yeah, but like, again, Bitcoin has, like I also said, like Bitcoin uh, found its bottom, in my opinion, as well. Uh, and I'm not waiting for a new... I, I never said that Bitcoin will see new lows, though. Right? I, I'm only talking about altcoins. I said many times that Bitcoin... I doubt it that it will make a new low. Uh, it's going down from here, 100%. But it's not going to make a new low, in my opinion. Um... I remember you said Gala was too expensive for one and a half cents and then it ran 500%. Yeah, and that's what I said. Like, but again, bro, you have to look at it like, are you an investor or are you a trader? Right? Because um, if you are a trader, yeah, then you have a point. You can buy here, you can sell here. But I don't do that. Right? If you look at Gala Bitcoin, this is where Gala had its low on the dollar pair. But if you did nothing like me and you just waited, you can now get Gala 25% cheaper, right? It's now the cheapest. Well, yeah, this wick here, but you know, 78 to 72, right? It's now again uh, at the bottom, right? And all I did was saying, oh, wait, I'm not buying it. Now I can buy the bottom, right? And maybe it goes down even more, right? That, that, that's always possible. But yeah, it ran hard. But what's the purpose? If you are an investor, then you would still then you would road this first you may profit but at the end of the day you ended up here right so yeah again it depends are you a trader or an investor uh yeah <laughs> what's wrong with you everything is up <laughs> you're seeing it down <laughs> what are you looking at bro everything is up it's no um look i look at altcoins okay this is the altcoin market at best you can say that this is going sideways but and then again if you look at this lower highs the trend is still down but i am mo again mostly looking at altcoins on their bitcoin pair because one i'm planning to buy altcoins with bitcoin right two if you would have bought Bitcoin instead of altcoins, yeah, you would have made more profits. These are altcoins on their Bitcoin pair. Does this look up to you? Fucking hell. <laughs> the, Lysium, what? the Lysium project is scam. Asked a question in the Telegram. Got response in two hours and it shows. I, I'm having a hard time to understand how this makes sense. It's a scam because you... Got an answer in two hours? I don't know what you mean, bro, but it's not a scam. It's weird. Um, you'll need to check out Bad Idea AI partnership with Chip. Uh, take a look at it. 
Um, Cedify made people extremely rich outside of the US. To use Cedify, you have to KYC or live in the US. Fuck. Yeah. Therefore, what do you mean? Come join us, bro. Uh, yeah. It was so funny after Pepe popped off, dozens of new meme coins based on Pepe came out. I just kept stacking good projects. I've uh, I've learned my lesson on chasing shit coins. Yeah, that's what it does. It also happens in the last bear market. There was also an NFT boom. And at the end of the day, shit still goes down, right? It's just liquidity shifting. It's not that all of a sudden there's money coming into crypto uh people are leaving crypto right now so it's more the current money that's there uh, it goes from altcoins into these hype coins people take the profits put it back into altcoins and at the end of the day they put it back into bitcoin right but there's no new money so uh, yeah don't sleep on floki will be number one soon as in number one here <laughs> or number one meme coin uh number one main coin could be maybe i don't know well 230 million dollar market cap dogecoin is sitting at 2 billion i doubt that yeah maybe i don't know i don't know shit about meme coins you probably know that better than me though um your strategy is for dumpy what well which altcoins to blow up in the bull crypto gaming will okay this is my crypto gaming uh video your strategy is for dumb people it doesn't matter where you buy it at if it is a good project your dollar cost average what you can afford to lose it's obviously you don't know what you are buying you are gambling mm -hmm. what the fuck do you mean though um but my strategy my what, what strategy uh do you mean i don't know what you mean bro i don't want to waste my time to that my top altcoins okay Volker forged awesome um immutable nice illuvium gods unchained loca uh magic gala yield guild games axi d race foxel and splinter lens is this something like that i would say i would agree with like 80 percent of that list yeah very nice what do you think about game five lunch pads it's cheaper than engine starter oh game five lunch pad uh do you think is engine starter good than game five well yeah like i showed you right here where is game five game five is down here game five overall the last year has made you a loss um engine starter is up here right so the returns of engine starter are better that's one also if we take a look at the token because you have to have the token to participate right and if you um look at god damn it launch pads you'll see engine starter is doing very well when it comes to the price game fi sucks the price is only going down therefore i haven't bought it yet because the price is just crashing exceptionally hard this is the hex of launch pads um i don't know what's wrong with it but it's going down too hard so yeah no it's not for me at least not yet you've a real ter uh, talent for storytelling uh <laughs> thanks i don't know if i'm storytelling right here but uh it's awesome dude um i dca the entire bear oh wait um buying gaming DeFi, and change yeah that's a good one i dca the entire bear I don't regret it it's a good project uh then it's a good project uh i was down about uh, 35 percent but everything i have entered this year so far has made me uh, uh is more than up especially casper injective uh yeah yeah if you bought some exceptions then you're up that's nice um overall i just look at what did altcoins uh do against bitcoin right what did they do they went down the complete year right so this is the average yeah do you want to bet on the fact that you uh buy uh, some you know exceptions yeah, you can do that overall this is the outcome right so i'm very happy i went didn't went crazy buying um because then you would lose half right yeah and and for the people that i see a lot of casper on my channel again that's fucking nice if you make profits on that congratulations for sure um but be honest did you make profits I don't know most people didn't because most people that bought casper so they 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 some somewhere bought casper right so they were in the camp of buying altcoins 
well, if altcoins do this, then you would have probably also bought a lot of altcoins that went down. So is your average up? Yeah, if it is, then you're lucky, man. But overall, I'm not fucking with that. If you bought this year, like you say, I buy, I buy the entire year. Well, this exactly is the entire year, right? Down 43%. So I'm not betting on the fact that there might be one or two altcoins that do something else than uh, than average. Um, nobody bought Illuvium at $100. I bought mine for $40. Into the, well, nobody bought for $100. Oh, fuck yeah, they did. Uh, I mean, look, it, of course they did. That's weird, right? Like... If you look at Illuvium, nobody bought it for 100. Here it was $100. Here it was $100. Why did the price go up or down from there? Well, down. Because people sold. Who did they sell to? To the people that bought. So, of course, people bought. Um, is it wise to buy Blocktopia? I, 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 I don't know about Blocktopia. It was uh, a big release by Cedify. Um, however, I don't know how they... Let me take a look. Hmm... Yeah, they, they made, just made a new low. So I, it's still going down. So no, in my opinion, it's not. Uh, uh, let me take a look. You do have a lot of subs, so you probably know your shit as well. Uh, here's a twist. While I am all for exploring the potential of crypto gaming, I do wonder if there is a chance it might be a bit of a crowded arena with a lot of noise to sort through. Definitely. Just saying that every project might be uh, in the winner's circle. Nonetheless, I can sense your passion is... Uh, blah, blah. Yeah, no, but I agree with you. Like, there's a lot of trash, but it goes for everything in crypto, right? There are a lot of good DeFi part, uh, projects out there uh, that you can buy. Well, there's a lot of trash as well. Um, therefore, in like, well, yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, basically, if you now want to buy into crypto gaming, yeah, don't fuck around with the uh, single games too much, right? But with the overlaying uh, studios, platforms, distribution centers, all of that, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, guys, I want to leave it here. I think. Uh, let me one, one more thing: UFO, Alu, and Games for a Living. Uh, UFO and Altura, old cryptos. Yeah, sometimes I hear that more often. Oh, these are old coins. Like, yeah, so what? Bitcoin is the oldest coin. It's still, you know, leading the complete market, uh, right? And nothing wrong with old coins. Old coins. You know, the plus side about altcoins is that they already proven themselves. Um, so, yeah, if, if they do well, then, then they do well, right? In new coins, it's too speculative. Also, altcoins usually don't have a big token vesting. Uh, yeah, here as well. Yeah, you mentioned only altcoins, no new projects. Like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with all the coins, like Gala. Like, again, like if you, for example, uh, again, take a look. Last cycle, somebody would have mentioned Cardano, right? People said like, oh, old coin, old coin. Yeah, whatever, old coin still did 170x, right? It's already proving itself. Um, it's not that if you only trade crypto for the hype, yeah, then you want to get rid of the old coins, right? If you're only about hype. But if you're really about the quality, yeah, then it doesn't matter where the fuck they were, when, when they were made. Like, if it's good, it's good. And then... For example, an, 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 an AVAX now here is better to buy than buy here, right? Because now there are more tokens in circulation. So you have less vesting, right? Less, less, less distribution. So, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with altcoins, uh, really. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here, guys. By the way, big freaking shout out to the Patreon subs. I'm going to update this for tomorrow, by the way, so you can see your name as well. You get exclusive videos. You get my NFT calls. You get crypto moonshots. There are podcasts out there. You can take a look at my crypto portfolio, which is there uh, today as well. You get personal consulting, a full trading course, a full crypto investing course. You get so much freaking shit to really make it with crypto. I'm going to basically show you everything right there, what I am doing. Uh, for myself how I went from zero to a couple of hundred thousand dollars still in the bear market and if we do a 10 or 20x in the bull market then we are going to 
celebrate. So guys, thanks for watching. My sound isn't working. I don't know how I have new ear ear. ear. I don't know, man. Whatever. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell notification. And I'll see you soon.